Today we're going to show you how to clean the IAC. I have the book Honda Accord 2003 to 2011. There are two kind of engine. Four cylinder 2003 to 2005 is one kind. Six cylinder 2005 and newer are another different kind. The one I have is four cylinder 2004 so I'm going to show you this kind. Tools you need 12 millimeter a wrench to loosen the four nuts and bolts here. You need a screwdriver. A screwdriver you can use to put in the accelerator. You see the accelerator cable you press this. So after you finish you can perform the relearn PCM module that uh, you can view my different video. This is a, a plier but you can latch it. So I use this to to open this climb. So this is a PCV hose. Just leave this here so I can put this off. Put it back or take it off. You can use this kind of a wrench to hold the climb. This is the throttle body and this is the IAC component. We need to take this apart. So there are two screws but it's very hard to get to so you may have to remove a lot of parts unless you really manage to put this to screw. I'm not going to follow the manuals. My goal is to minimize the removal of a lot of parts. See whether I can actually take clean this throttle plate and the IAC uh, component to just clean them. In order to reach this, the, the manual says you have to remove the throttle body. So that's a one procedure. In order to re remove the throttle body, you have to remove the intake, the whole duct. I will show you how to do it. So my goal is minimize the disconnection. So this is a vacuum hose here. I'm not going to disconnect. I will try not to disconnect and see whether it works. And this is a bypass uh, hose and I will uh, take it off and because I want to re remove this part. I have a space to work on this. So I'm not going to remove the coolant hose. There are two coolant hose here. The cruise control and the a accelerator cable I'm not going to remove because once you remove you have to follow the procedure to as adjust them. So I will leave those two cable and vacuum and the hose on to see whether I can actually lift this a little bit and clean inside and remove the IAC valve. Another thing I want to do is I want to remove the negative battery cable. The reason I want to do it I want to reset the computer so after I finish the cleaning I connect this this will set the, reset the computer I want to follow the PCM relearn process in order to clean the idle control the so IAC unit you have to remove the throttle in order to uh, remove the throttle you have to remove this duct so there are quite a few components I need to disconnect what I'm going to do, I'm going to next is label all the components. I will not have a hard time reassembling them. We'll start at taking piece by piece. I have labeled everything. The first critical thing is to find the part, which section we need to remove. Okay, so those, those little tags so, are the labels. So Yeah, the label. So I'm trying to first step remove this uh, intake, this pipe. The manual calls for remove everything, including this part for adjusting those cables. So I really want to minimize how many of them I need to remove. For example, this is a cruise control cable. This is an accelerated cable. If I disconnect them, I have to adjust them. It takes more time, so I'm trying to minimize. So first, from here, if you see it connected, the this one's very easy to disconnect. It's a intake uh, air temperature gauge. So what you can just press this, and this will come off. Close to that, this is just a harness. So this is off. I could remove this 
I don't have to at this point but since I already labeled this is a throttle position sensor that will sense how much the throttle play the angle of it when you remove the throttle you need to remove this but since it's so easy you just press this you uh, take it off so this uh, will not be in the way next remove this screw you don't really need to remove it you just need loosen once it's loosened you just pull this uh, it will come off see this comes off see this is the throttle and this is the part we are trying to move but I think I will just remove this so I can see better even though uh, I don't have to I like to also clean this so this part is intake air bypass control thermal valve hose so this hose I just pull this see it's not too hard I can put this off another connection is this one so there are two clamps here the book doesn't say which clamp I think it's this clamp this clamp is thicker and I'm going to pull this down and and wick this out see this is connected and I'm disconnected disconnected I can put this up I, I also lose the air filter I can take this whole thing or you can disconnect here without uh, removing filter I like to change the filter too so I'm taking this whole thing out so there are four screws you need to lose the filter so this is an air intake assembly so I took that out I will try to clean and change the filter filter is here it's uh, not that dirty but either clean it or just replace it this is the coolant hose if you disconnect them you could, may have a spill of coolant I just uh, uh, took out the two nuts here and two bolts here now see here is a loose but it's uh, still connected uh, so there are two coolant and there's a, this is the vacuum let me take this off first e what easier. are you taking off? this is uh, just connected this electric wire now there's a thing see I press this and press it down okay so now it is connected and this is a electrical connector here I'm going to disconnect where? Uh, see this is a black black one and this is the one it's called a IAC valve control electrical connector so you press the tab here and you can disconnect I have to put the hand in unfortunately it will block the view it's down here I need to press a tab behind it and put this connector out see it's it's a board see this is the connector so once it is disconnected this is a accelerator cable and the cruise control the, the accelerator cable and the cruise control, control cable the okay. two I haven't disconnected I'm trying to see whether by pulling this out I could uh, manage get the things clean without disconnecting all those f five cables you know this is a coolant this is a, another coolant and this is a vacuum it's not easy okay so I managed uh, to bend this this way and I could clean the backward uh, easily so this is a throttle this is the uh, throttle position gauge that will see how how far this throttle open what I need to do is disconnect this this part which that, part? this is for the idle air control valve so 
that's what I'm going to do next. So I managed to pull this uh, idle control unit out. There's only two screws. One is here, one is there. It's not hard to take it out like this. And there's a little bit of spillage coolant. See, I still have a coolant hose connected. And the two cable, cruise control and the accelerator cable. And also the vacuum. So what I'm going to do is clean those two parts. The first part we need to clean is the throttle. And uh, watch the throttle. See, when the throttle is open, um, you see, it's, uh, very dirty here. So I need to clean this. So what I do, I use a carburetor cleaner. Make sure because you are not taking this away, and no spillage. This uh, has the erosion to other parts. So what I going to do a stab a little bit of the carburetor cleaner and just go in and use this to clean see very dirty so the next is the idle control unit see this is a a moving part here see sometimes it's stuck can you see the moving part no yeah it's, the lighting is not good but you just need a spray spray and clean them well and take the take the sealer they recommend to have a new sealer but I think this is still okay I'm going to reuse it so I'm not really following the the procedure you should follow the procedure if something wrong I can reopen and shoot another video I just put everything back so this is the last bit I just need a Tighten this. There are two parts was a little bit difficult. The first part was remember the rubber sealer in in between the uh, throttle body and the IAC because the way you install is vertical like this. So it's pretty hard to put it back. The rubber seal may fall off. It was a little bit difficult, but I managed to put it back move this maximum horizontally and put this back if you can do it then you really have to move, remove all the hoses and lift this turn this the throttle body on the top uh, the gravity will make sure that rubber seal doesn't fall off so that's the first uh, difficulty the second di difficulty is this part is really tight so I have to use the climb like this and really wiggle this back in. But besides that, uh, a little bit uh, unexpected, everything looks fine. So I'm going to connect this battery and then restart the retraining process. That's all cleaning part of the IAC cleaning and throttle plate cleaning.